So, here we go then. Manchester United against Bayern Munich. I'm your commentator, John Champion, and summarising today is Jim Begley. So here we go then, Manchester United against Bayern Munich. The forward push gains momentum. They got a throw in. Rooney on the ball. Oh, lovely feet. Steals the ball. Chance. Well, oh, that's a neat escape. And it's come back off the bar. Not this time. Long way off that. Oh, what a lovely first touch, and that allowed him the space to get the shot away. It's excellent technique. Nani. Cleared away to safety. Gets the ball in a nice position. Can he find a finish? Oh, look, it's always a tricky game to play in squeezing up and trying to catch the opposition offside, but that worked really well then. It's through to Van Persie. And Percy's got it. You have to admire that control. Van Percy. Goal! Manchester United. They grab the opener. Neuer maybe was unsighted by his own defence there. Just look at the way the ball sneaked through that defensive line. And I don't think he could pick it up until it was way too late. So we start again at 1-0. Yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts, and he's just a very tidy goal scorer. Now the chance! Oh, it's come off the upright! A similar chance and a similar outcome. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can't convert a string of very decent opportunities. Well, once the keeper lost control of that, it could have gone either way, but it was a good reaction from the defender. The ball's with Tony Cruz. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Whistle goes, Jeffrey just gives the throw, and Van Persie, could be a chance now, oh. 
another shot. And he makes absolutely no mistake. It's a two-goal lead now. Find some words to do justice to that goal. I just think there was too much ball watching. Uh, nobody's really looking to see who's drifting into good striking positions. And it's a bad one to give away, it really is. So it's now two without reply. Well, that goal makes such a difference to the whole dynamic of this game. That second goal puts them in control now. Rooney. Rooney on his own. Slickly done that. Just the keeper in his way. It's opened up nicely for him. There it is. They lead by three and that may just about be that. Well, what can you say about that goal? Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. We resume again. The score is 3-0. The half-time whistle goes. Plenty of goals in this contest, and a margin of three between the teams. <laughs> Manchester United getting us underway for this second half. Restarts with a throw in. Cleverly. They hit it long now. Nani, who's just made his mark on this match. tried going it alone but without success well he had the chance to to release it left and ended up making the wrong choice by by going it alone he just took on way too many there and he's got to think about that a little bit more and, and make a better decision Nani Evra Valencia whose goal scoring skills have already been seen Oh, that's delightful. Van Persie. To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. He did well to get it. What next? Valencia. Is charging through the centre. And a goal. Riveting, ruthless, relentless. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? I just think that's a good example of how you take advantage of a lapse in concentration. He was on the prowl, hungry, looking for any scraps that came his way. And he certainly gobbled up the chance, took it really well. Surely they're well and truly out of sight now. Tony Cruz. Valencia.
Now through to Rooney. Some hopeful faces waiting in the middle. It's been played short. He's got possession now, maybe a chance. Mario Goetze. What can Bayern Munich do here? Play surges forward. Nani. Here's Evra. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Raphael has robbed him. Now a chance for a cross. Can he now find a finish? Well, he had the chance to, to release it left and ended up making the wrong choice by, by going it alone. He just took on way too many there and he's got to think about that a little bit more and, and make a better decision. A long ball forward. It's all over, the referee's had enough. The whole gamut of attacking play was on display here, tearing through the defence almost at will. Well, how enjoyable was that? I love it when you get two teams giving it everything they've got. They held nothing back. Terrific stuff. So, thanks to Jim Beglin for joining me. That's all we have time for this afternoon.